Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner covering the theory of Python. And in this lecture, I wanted to cover what's called Python interactive mode. Python interactive mode is a really useful feature of Python that allows you to try out Python code uh, within the Python interpreter itself and get immediate results on whether the code even compiles and what it will do. So how to get the Python interactive mode? Well, the first step is you need to get Python installed. If, and we're using Python 3.7 in our lecture series. So if you're on Windows, you're gonna have to go to the Python website and download a, um, a package that will install on your local operating system. And if you follow the defaults, you should get Python installed on your path and everything like that. If you're on Linux or Mac OS, uh, you, you wanna use a program called PyInv to manage your Python versions without interfering with your operating system. Otherwise, your operating system might have Python 3.7 installed by default. Likely it doesn't. So check your uh, operating system, see what version it has. So when you run the command python-vv, or if this works, python3, python3-vv, it should say something like python 3.7, okay? The next thing is uh, where to run Python interactive mode. And I know that uh, there's a program out there called idle that people like to use. I prefer running it from the console. In Windows, you're gonna hit the Windows key and you're gonna type in CMD and then hit enter, Windows 10, and that'll bring up the console for you. And then you can just type Python and that should bring up Python 3.7. You can also use the Py program if you have multiple versions installed, and I believe the way this works is you do Py-3.7, and it'll bring up Python 3.7 for you. On Linux, Mac OS, uh, same kind of thing, but you might have to run the command Python 3. No parameters, uh, it'll bring it up right away. And you should see in your screen, you should see three greater than signs after a brief message about the version of Python that you're running. What can you do in interactive mode? Well, in interactive mode, you can type arbitrary statements. We're going to be doing some simple statements at first that involve expressions uh, with literals and some basic mathematics, but you can do, for instance, uh, this is the classic first thing you do in any programming language. So print, and you have a double quote there, hello, comma, world. And you should see the message, hello, comma, world, right after that. And what it did here is because this statement um, evaluates to none, that expression evaluates to none because print doesn't return anything, it didn't show anything, it just showed the print results. If you were to type in something like one, then you will see a one appear here. The reason why is this statement evaluates to one, obviously, and so it shows you the evaluation of that statement. When you're all done with interactive mode, you can leave through several methods. On Windows, you can hit Control, Z and then enter, that'll get you out. And on Mac and Linux, you should be able to hit control D and that should take you out of the interactive mode immediately. If you wanna save some of your work from interactive mode, you should copy and paste that into a file. That's the best way to save the work. So um, open up your favorite editor. Um, I prefer Vim. It does have a learning curve, but it's absolutely, absolutely worth it, particularly if you wanna make this your career and uh, copy and paste the code that you have there into there, and then you can keep it for later. There's not much to say else about the interactive mode except to mention IDEs. I am not a huge fan of IDEs. The reason why is these tend to, you tend to become dependent on the IDE itself. You get lost if you're not within the IDE. If, but I would say that if you think about it, bash plus vim is kind of the quintessential IDE for the Linux universe. Using bash, you have access to all of the Linux, uh, Unix commands, the GNU tools, and Vim is a great editor that you can use to edit files. And these two things together give you basically all the tools you need. Uh, if you're on Windows, obviously, you don't have access to bash unless you install something like Sigwin. And you can install Vim rather easily in Windows, and it works just great. So I do prefer not using an IDE, but using these tools directly. If you guys have any questions for me about interactive mode, be sure to ask in the comments below. Have a great day, take care, and bye-bye. This video is part of a series on the theory of Python. You can click on the left to see the playlist, and on the right to support my channel. Thank you very much for your time.